Good morning, Year 9. Um, welcome to our live lesson on Band Lab again. Um, as normal, you need to access our continuation of the Remix project by once you've logged in. Again, you'll see the new assignment details and when you guys are opening it up. And we're going to open up our assignment in the mixer. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just to refresh my memory of what we've done last week. So we're going to play what we've got so far. It's getting late. I'm making my way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away. I wasn't looking for nobody when you look my way. Possible candidate, yeah. Who knew? Okay, brilliant. Um, So I can now see that I've got chords for the whole verse section, a bit of drums, everything is quantizing in time. And I have changed my piano sound, which is pretty cool. So first thing says, if you have not changed your piano sound, which a few of you haven't, the first step that you need to do is to change that sound. So I'm gonna show you briefly how to do that, even though I do have an altered sound on here. Dress away, I wasn't looking. I wanna make sure that you know how to do that yourself. So to change the sound of the keys, you need to go to where you can see the keyboard symbol here. You need to click on that. What that does is that opens up our piano um, roll and player. We're not going to change our notes. What we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says synth keys. And we're going to change that. We're no longer, or for you, it would say normal piano. So we're going to change the type of sound. Now, I chose to go into synth keys initially. But it could be any particular sound. So for instance, let's have a look at synth leads. And let me try. I don't know what this is going to sound like. It could sound totally awful, but let's just hear what this sounds like. For nobody when you look my way, possible candidate, yeah. Who knew? Yeah. So I'm not a fan Getting of late. I'm making Yeah. It doesn't sound that great. So we're going to try something else. Um, let's see. My way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away. I wasn't looking. So that kind of works. I'm gonna leave it on tape saw just because we're here now. Turn it down a little bit. Brilliant. So I've changed the sound. Get late. I'm making my way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away. So pretty cool. It makes it way more interesting just a, re a regular type of key sound. So the next thing I'm going to do is I need to make sure that my drums cover the whole section of the verse because at the moment mine don't. So if you've only got a little bit of drums and it doesn't continue on, make sure that you have done that. Ooh. Again, I need to be careful. So I'm going to copy, drag my cursor to where I want to paste it. Because that's really important. If I don't do that, it will paste anywhere. And paste. And then paste. Okay. So now that covers the duration of my drum. What I'm going to do is we're going to duplicate the sample. Now, we're going to do this because I want to take extra vocals from the sample and layer that on top of the verse melody that Rihanna does already. So to do that, I need to click on where my sample is, which is at the top. I need to press Control, and then I need to click Duplicate Track. Once I click duplicate track, what that does is that copies everything exactly in the same place. Yeah? So you need to control, click, and then you click down to duplicate and it makes an exact copy. So now we've duplicated the track, I'm gonna mute my original track here by going to where it says M. So this is now silent. And the only track that's playing is this one. Now if I press play, just from here, where there's no drums or beat. Do you know what you started? I just came here to party. So now I've got the next section of vocals. So what I want you to do now is I want you to choose a section of vocals, a very small short section that you want to use to layer up over the other part of the verse. Now, this is your choice entirely. For instance, you could decide that the section you want to use is... Do you know what you started? Just that section. Just have a listen. Do you know what you started? You could decide. You want to use. Do you know? Do you know what you started over everything? So you could decide to cut just that piece of vocals and reuse it. I'm gonna use a different piece of vocals. So I'm gonna have a listen through and see 
what vocal part stands out to me personally. Stop the music. I want to take you away. Now, I really like her selection of harmonies there. I want to take you away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and I'm going to chop that up. Now remembering that this top one is muted, okay, so that's the original copy and then this one, second one here is the one that I am now trying to edit. So, so I know that kind of around here, around this first little where it gets louder, that's, gonna work, that's where the sample starts. So I think it starts just after 35. Let's have another shot. Yeah, so it's on this first little line here. So if I drag it here, remember to cut. I need to drag my cursor exactly where I want it. I'm going to go to edit, and then we're going to go slice up playhead. I also need to make sure the actual part that I, I the track I want to cut is highlighted as well and clicked on. So that's that part cut. Where does it end? Let's have a look. Cool. So I can then cut it. Yeah, I'll cut it here. So again, drag it to where I want. Edit. Ooh. Again, if I just click that, it's not going to let me slice anything because it's not highlighted. So I need to make sure the part that I want to cut is highlighted. Slice at the playhead. Okay. So I like that section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first bit, which all it is, is the other part of the song. Mills. And remember, my original copy's here, so it's fine. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to delete that part. I don't need that part. I kind of just want this part of the vocal. This part I'm going to keep, because there might be another slice of vocals that I might like. So let's skip this. One key thing, actually, um, that I've got to mention that will make your life way loads easier is if we have the click on, because then we kind of know where we're at. So let's play. Skip forward a bit. Every single sample cut that I've got, I'm literally going to start to drag so that they're all closer together so I can see them. And then they're all just spaced up for like so. And you just keep dragging it. And then stop. Just pause this here. And I'm going to highlight all four now. So these are all the sample cuts that I have. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to label this sample cuts so that I can see a very clear difference between this one and this one. Now, it's for me to decide which sample cut I'm going to use first. I think I'm going to use one of the Makus. So I've or this one. I think I prefer this one. So this is the one that I'm going to focus on and use. Okay, so... If we press play now, you're gonna hear. It's getting late. I'm making my way over to my favorite place. I gotta get my body moving, shake the stress away. I wasn't looking for nobody when you looked my way. I said, okay, the day, yeah. So now I need to think about where I can put this Makusa sample over this. Okay, so I'm gonna unmute it. And if, well actually no, I'm going to keep it muted. Let's play that first verse again and let's just think about where we could put it. It could be put anywhere, but I'm just going to count and then be like, mm, around here. So let's have a listen, listen. end of that first group section okay so we could put Marcusa kind of somewhere around here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute this I'm going to drag it roughly to around there and then let's count and see kind of where it needs to be so it kind of needs to start there 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that happen again. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it towards the end of this cord. Again, I'm not going to sh exactly sure where. I'm just going to paste it here for now and I'll move this. So let's put that up. We'll paste one more. Ooh. Again, if it slightly moves out, you can just kind of slightly move it back in time. Let's have a listen. You don't have to go. So that's a little bit slow, I think. Bring it forward and see. It's incredible if you don't have to go. Okay, that's too early now. Try here. Let's count it. Aura is incredible if you don't have to go. Three, four. There we go. There we go. So it's really important to count. If you count along with the metronome on, it will help you to see if it's in time. So let's just check this. Brilliant. Okay, so that already sounds like it's something else is going on. In next week's lesson, we're going to change the pitch of it and we're going to shift it a bit better. But that is all I want you to do for now. We're still focused on the first verse. If you have continued with the rest of the song, great, because you're going to have more to work and play with. But I just want you to focus on the first verse for now to create all our edits. Okay, so again, you need to click save and submit and that will be sent to me. I'm going to mark it based on the task that you've done this week and return it for you for next week for our next part of the task. Great job, Year 9. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to send me a message on Show My Homework. I will get back to you as soon as I can.